Like when you do cosplay, what what events do you normally go to for it? Is it premieres or you know? Um, I've done a couple premieres. Like uh, my friends and I did the um, Infinity War, and um, yeah, he kind of put it together because recently. The theater here has uh, banned masks and uh, face paint. Really? Yeah. So he had to actually call ahead and get permission. Oh, my gosh. So in a way, we were kind of like hired to be there as like um, promotional people. people. Yeah. That's dope. That's yeah. A, when we're talking about AMC, right? Yeah. That's crazy. I know they're getting super crazy about it because when Joker came out, and I would, I was, you know, like, oh, let's go see like this amazing movie about a background story of one of my favorite villains, you know. And we pulled mm -hmm. up, there was cops everywhere. Really? Yeah, there was oh, cops down the aisle. They had like, I don't know, five, six cops, and it's because I think because of the shooting that happened years during the back. Batman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I, it was just kind of like crazy, even in a small, small town like yeah. here, they have cops out, just kind of. It was crazy. So I, I definitely see how the, the strict AMC yeah. or just movie theaters in general are probably getting when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. you gotta you got to kind of register with them nowadays. That's crazy. Yeah. But that is cool because I remember going to Star Wars and literally every year there's like five or six people that pull up. And I'm like, man, I need yeah. to get a Chewy outfit. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? That'd be cool. Well, like you could definitely wear a simple Jedi outfit as long as, you know, your face isn't covered. Right. Yeah, that's like totally allowed. Right. But um like I know a few years ago I went to a Star Wars premiere and they actually had a guy dressed like Kylo Ren. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, and yeah. um yeah, he was definitely hired to be there, you know. Right. Cuz otherwise he wouldn't have been had allowed to. Yeah. I'm sure he had to pull up, show his ID and uh, cuz mm -hmm. they they crazy about the IDs. We have the AMC Stubbs pass where you get to see three movies a week uh -huh. for like 20 bucks and when you see one movie it's already worth it because you go to the big D it's like $16 but $20 you can see 12 yeah. a month. <laughs> that's that's a good deal. I should probably yeah. get into that. <laughs> oh my gosh, we use it every we literally see three movies every week. There's not been a week in the last 5 months that has not been three movies that come out, which is insane. Yeah. So it's like it's totally worth it. I mean, it's insane, but yeah, I definitely, when we show up, like, they will not, like, there's been countless times I left my wallet or my ID or something like that, and I'm like, hey, can I get in? Like, no, no ID. Like, we, we can't let you in. And I'm like, dude, I've seen you three times a week for three months now. You know it's me. He's like, I, I can't, man. I need your ID. And I'm wow. like, so they'll send you back. So it's crazy. Things mm -hmm. are getting a little strict around here. But oh, yeah, for sure.